right here in the classic. Can't go wrong with this. The Adidas Superstar, aka the Shell Toes, aka the B Boy shoes. Basically, like the shoes that all the break dancers back in the 80s used to wear. Run DMC made this even more popular. So that's another cool thing. Then the last pair of Adidas shoes I have that are on me right now are the Adidas UV350 V2 Zebra. Hi guys, I'm Zazi, and today I'm with my friend Barry. Hello. Hi guys, I'm Barry. And today we're going to be showcasing this new collection. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope cheese every time my phone rings. Hi guys, I'm Zazi, and today I'm here with my friend Barry. What's up, guys? And today we're going to be showcasing the sneak collection. We're going to be showing off his high end sneaker items, his retros, his Yeezys, and everything else in between. Hi guys, this is my basic sneaker collection. It's nothing. Um, too expensive here. I'm not a sneakerhead, and this is just something basic. It's nothing you can get out there. All right. So Barry, tell me something about your shirt that you got right there, because I know like Pharrell, he has like this. Uh... Oh yeah, this is um, Pharrell and Nigo. This is um, the human made. This is um, Nigo. Actually, after um, Babe, Nigo uh, created the um, human made. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know about streetwear fashion, Nigo is the guy that made a Babe and Ape, and everything else. They also have a Ape as well. So, let's go ahead and start with like the things all the way to your left. I see you have like some Gamma Blue 12s. Yeah, Gamma Blue 12. Um, um, it's, just, it's just things I'm feeling. Sometimes, you know, I'm feeling... Um, um, when it comes to sneakers, I'm always um, getting things I want. It's not actually about the hype. Because most of the time it's more about if you can get this for us, I'm, I'm totally different from that. I could get from um, Chuck Taylors to Jordans to... Um, 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 red bottoms to anything. Yeah. Alright, so let's start from the top. As you can see, these are the heavier shoes. That's why and they're also bigger, so they can't actually fit into any of these sneaker containers. Let's start off with the, the Yeezy 750s. So basically, um, with the Yeezy 750, I have a history uh, with these shoes. So, um, when I was in high school, I get these shoes. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I wore it for the very first time, they just came out. I get them um, from the Adidas website. And everybody at school was like, that's your dad's shoe, that's your dad's shoe. And um, it ended up uh, blowing up and a bunch of real niggas was criticizing it too. And when they noticed uh, what I had on, and that's when, um, you know, people start asking if I'm selling them. Since then, I just stuck them. Wearing yeah. a few winters. So it's crazy now. These shoes, they go from like anywhere from 2000 to 5000 depending on the colorway. The original colorway of any pair you use will always be the most expensive. With the 350 V1s. The 700 V1, the Wave Runners, all that good stuff. And then I see you got these uh, Fear of God. Yeah, the, the, the Fear of God, I actually fell in love with this when they came out. And um, I'm actually surprised because all, you can see most of the retros here, the um, retail price would be like 250 or so. Mm -hmm. But these are like 600 These, yeah, these um, um, people said to go a size down because they're big. Some people said to go size, but I go um, through the size because these are actually comfortable inside. Mm -hmm. To put them in is a struggle, to take them out is a struggle, but when you, see, if see, you got them on... The thing I like most about yeah. the Fear Guys is it has like the zipper on the back. Yeah, so the it has, on the back. It, has, it gives it that uh, high-end fashion aesthetic. Right, like, yeah. If you ever see like Giuseppe uh, Zanotti, they got a bunch of zippers on it. And just like the Yeezys, they have like that high top, they're, they're high cut. And a lot of people, you know, we're so used to wearing mids. So, but high sneakers, they look better with jeans. So yeah, they, they, they look better with James. Especially if you like um, stacking and all that. These are dope, these are dope. And yeah. I heard he have his um um grand um grandparents a uh, military um, Yeah, like the dog type. Yeah, number. yeah, I think it's somewhere yeah. in here or I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people don't know the man behind the fear of God is his name is Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah, Jerry Lorenzo. So yeah, and, and and uh what um something unique about Jerry Lorenzo is that he's a quiet guy. He wore the yellow ones and now they're five thousand dollars. It's like that Kanye effect. Like it's when crazy. Kanye was exactly. wearing the Jordan ones, like the Brez and the Royal, the price for Jordan one skyrocketed to like the thousand price. This is like I want to say back when uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy came out, back yeah. when he was still signed with Nike. Yeah, it was so Nike. any any it, Nike, it was, any, even with the the Air Max nineties, with the Independence Day ones, the all red and all white. He was wearing those and the price went up too. Uh, I don't know too much about these. I've seen these before though. The, these are the Ricardo um, Air Force ones. These came out. Um, before high school, I think. I get these because at the time, I used to have the low Air Force ones and snow always getting my shoes. And I get these and um, that just solved the problem. Since then, I had these. I wore all my shoes. It's just that I take care of them. 
you know I make sure I wash them but these are collecting dust because I only wear these on the winter mm -hmm. all these shoes are just you see know, yeah when the other thing snow. I like about these is that after this shoe came out they started making the uh, the SF special force boot like they had the olive green colorway it was like it had the gum bottle which is really nice so and and, and with those, I saw the female um, version of those. It, they're even crazy. they're even higher. They're, it it, it, it looks like it's like a stiletto boot. It's just like super. I'm thinking it's like nine inches or something. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on with the the Timberland. Oh yeah, with the Tims. Um, I had I had um I go through the size with Tims sometimes, and I feel like they're kind of heavy and big. So I I, I gotta went down to like, um, cause I weigh ten. I gotta went down to like 9.5 and they're comfortable they feel really yeah. comfortable i get this from StockX, and they still see i i never wear this yet because i had the old team i had the old teams down there so these are new these are fresh so i just see. put them here to collect dust. me and myself i got a funny story about the tim right so my first pair of tins i ever had i had like the the field boot like i got them from my cousin so like they were they were hand me down so like i beat those boots up like ninth grade temporary year i just wore them when it was snowing when it was raining like basically that was my my work boot, I was just doing every day. Yeah, teams they they could carry heavy duty. Yeah, and that was like that was like a, a mid boot. So it was like it would stop like right about here. And then I eventually ended up getting like these navy blue ones and then I eventually got the black ones, which was my favorite pair. Yeah, the black ones are dope. And the only problem with the black ones is that over time the more you wear it, they start getting that ashy look. So I, I kinda stopped wearing them as much and also they I outgrew them so Yeah. yeah. But growing up in an African household, my mom would always be like, "Oh, you gotta get one size bigger. You're gonna, your feet are gonna keep yeah, going." Yeah, because they want you to wear, want they want you to wear the same shoes for ten years. Yeah, so it's kind of funny how it worked out because I got the shoe and I got the boots in like a size eleven, and now I wear a size eleven. So I actually ended up growing to the size. So, so um, with these teams right here, these was unique to me because at the time, um, when I had, um, I think um, the old teams I used to have, these was um. Someone actually sold this to me, and um, it was special because I have a history with. Um, it, it was just too much. This team was actually not, and you can't. This is one of the one of the sneakers I have here that you can't see elsewhere because this team is unique, and um, it have. I have so much history with this, yeah. you know. I worry a lot. I, I actually worry. If you see lot. this, like uh, you might not pick this up on camera. I'll just bring it up a little closer. Um, this is like actual, like actual suede. Like normally, yeah, it's actual suede. Normally, when you look at regular uh, Timberlands, it's like nubuck. Yeah. And it's like that waterproof material. Yeah, this waterproof. Is, this is, this is actual suede. suede. This is yeah. actual. It's like clothing material. It's an actual suede. They, 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 these are really nice. Right. Right. Let's go ahead and get into some of the the flashier things. Uh, with the red bottoms. I always, since I was um, back in Africa, I always try to like get these and um, a lot of people be rocking them, you know, friends and stuff. So at the time, I don't have money to get them, especially this colorway. Yeah. And when I have money, I finally... Um, a lot of people don't notice, but if it has spikes, it's usually like 100 to $200 more expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you have spikes. And um, a lot of times, the um, the bottom always, it, it, it should like kind of glitter like. You should see something. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if you look at the lettering, like this part right here, it shines more because it's like it should, yeah, it's like it I think shine. it's lasered in. So yeah. like everything inside the letters is a lot shinier. Yeah. I I I I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And I see. You also got the. I think these are the low top version. Right? Yeah. These are low top. So um, with the low top, the low, the, the low. I love the low top. The low tops are I like. Yeah, it's it's really interesting because like yeah. you would think that blue and red, you know, you only look at that at the American flag, but for this, it really works, right? Because like really blue, and then it has like the the red bottoms. It has that loud contrast. So it's like pretty it's nice. really loud. Yeah, this, and look, this um, is like that really quality. But like sweet. you know, when the really good quality suede is like when you when you swipe your finger across it, it changes color. It goes from the dark to light blue. So yeah, um, we uh, with uh, low top. Low top are my favorite type of sneakers because they're easy to get into and easy to take out. Some reason I'm just you know um, I just love low tops. I feel you on that. Like the hardest shoe I ever have putting on is like my Chuck Taylors because they're actually since my high top ones. Every time I put them on, I have to loosen the laces just to put yeah. them on. Okay. So right here now, this is. I think 2018, right? This was like one yeah, of the most yeah. popular shoes of the so, year. So uh, with these, um, I have a funny history. So I get these like three times. The first time I get these, they was actually the wrong size. And um, at the time, one thing about Hype sneakers, when they came out, make sure you get them within the first six months. You'll be able to get them from um, $300 to $800. After that, they just carry on. Okay, now these shoes is like $1,500 to like yeah. $2,000. So um um I got the the wrong size and I have to send it back and 
the second time I get them was from eBay. And y'all know how that goes. I gotta send them back because eBay yeah. has some different so, stuff. So sometimes a lot of, a lot of people sell real stuff from eBay, but there's a, there was this shoe particular yeah, this shoe had to be the most faked video. Yeah, the these are the easiest. Yeah. Like, I remember in 2018, it, was, it got so bad, I had to make a video on this, right? And that video is like one of my most popular videos on my channel. I made a real verse fake because there were so many counterfeit pairs of this. Like yeah. normally the the other most counterfeited pair of shoes would be like the Jordan Eleven, since like a new one comes out every holiday season. But this one right here, good lord, there are so many fakes. There, there were so many. Last time I get them was from StockX, and that's why I'm having right now. And um, I had a lot of offers for this, and you know I don't think I'll sell this anytime soon because I actually like these shoes a lot. You know. Yeah. I like, love this shoe. The cool thing, it has like the little Velcro patch and then on the inside, a lot of people don't know this because they've never worn them, but like it has like the velour material on the inside. Like you ever see like the 80s tracksuits? Like what Biggie and uh, Run DMC, they would be, right. be wearing? Yeah, they, it has like that nice Yeah, these shoes are inside. unique. These are so, actually unique. Quali quali very, very quality shoe. So like it's worth, it's definitely worth the hype. For it's sure. Worth for the sure. Hype. Then we got this one right here. Yeah, like I told you guys, I love low top sneakers. And out of all my sneakers, this is what I love the most. When this came out, you know, um, I saw a version of the um, Air um, Air Force One bait, um, Travel Scott bait, and I, I freaked out because those were so dope. But when this came out, you know, I, I slept on these. I didn't get them retail price, but I love the shoes. I love these sneakers. I have a bunch of pictures with these sneakers. I wore it, I think, five times. And they still look fresh because every time I wear them, I have to tiptoe everywhere I go because I don't want these to scarf. Nothing, you know. It's just th these are dope shoes. These are dope sneakers. The cool thing about these, besides like the backwards swoosh, it's like since like the middle is like this. It's not even off white. It's like a yellowing midsole. Yeah. So like so even you don't have to worry about yeah, cleaning because yeah. like, because he used like the brown suede as the aged look. So it's pretty cool. And me personally, I like uh, Nike SBs, the low tops. Cause they give me like that same feel like it, it just looks great with jeans yeah so okay we got the the supreme up tempos right here yeah the supreme up tempos are one of them shoes that come out and you like those are big you know those are like but like um i fell in love with these sneakers when one of my one of my friends had it and you think this is heavier or lighter than the Tim's? because this is like a heavy a heavy sneaker this is lighter than the Tim's. because really? when i wear these i feel a little bit it's comfortable inside these are nice and you know i i i I fell in love with the sneakers when I um I tried on on, on one of my mm -hmm. uh, cousin's house and it, it feels good and I, I I have to get one of these I get the supreme I get this colorway the gold colorway because I can't get the red ones. Mm -hmm. So question: With the human made shirt that you're wearing right now, out of all the shoes in your collection, what would you wear with the t-shirt? Um, I I'll get there. If I wear anything, it will be um the threes. Yeah, that, that's that subtle hit of red. It's not like too much red. It's just like exactly, the right yeah, of red. subtle hit of red, right amount of red. You know, yeah. the go. And but I have I have shoes I wear with the um you, um with this t-shirt. I'll get there. When we get there, I'll show you what, what yeah. I'm talking about. It's kind of funny. The shoe I'm wearing right now, I could actually pull it off. The zebras, you know. These are tough. These yeah. are tough. These. It's so funny when it first came out. Right, a lot of people are like, oh man, I don't really like it. But then every time there's a really different color of a, colorway of the Yeezy, it comes more popular. So I got the the first restock. So that's when I got it, and I got it for retail. This was like back in 2018, like the end of the year. And it's so surprising because like normally, the website was crashing, and I got it on the first attempt. And that was like the the second time I got a pair of Yeezys for retail. And after that, the price fluctuated, went up, went down, and then it went all the way back up. Yeah, again. Yeezys is always like that. So um, next we have the bait. Funny story about these, the list is half the si half the price of the shoes. So I got the shoes, right? Uh, um, it was whatever. And I went to um, Foot Locker, I saw a dude had the lace on. At the time, it was just white lace here. And I asked him if he want to sell his lace. He was like, I'm selling it for this price. I was like, bro, that's a little too much. And we end up um, um, negotiating and then I got the shoes. I got the lace for half the price of the shoes. So if the shoes is $500, I got the lace for like $200. That's how expensive it's. It's really crazy because like and, and if you look if you look at it, if you look at the lace, it really goes it's bape everywhere and it's white and black. It, it, it's just it's just amazing. Something that I know from like ordering from the Bape website, like you see like the small stuff like the tote bags can range from like fifty to hundred dollars. And that's a tote bag. So imagine just like the shoelace itself. That's crazy. Yeah, the shoelace is like, ridiculous. You know, a lot of people like when these first came out, people they were calling like the fake Air Force One. But Bape changed it enough to the point where like it didn't infringe on the copyright laws. Yeah, they got, exactly. They got the star right here. 
then it says beep on the side and then you know the tongue itself and this in my opinion the little lace the little lace lock is a lot more interesting because it has like the beep and it has the star on it it's a lot cooler yeah, that's, that's, that, that's, that's tough. So, uh, when it comes to um, Snake in general, I love the ones. The ones are my favorite um, Jordans of all time. So, I got the the um, the Travel Scott ones high. So, um, that's the lows right there. And I got the this one. I actually got this one first. I got this one for from, a from a friend. And I got this one from um, StockX. So, yeah. But this, I, I love this ones. But I can't, bro. This is just, this is just. I it's love, I love blue top. Yeah, I, I love see, that. a lot of people don't know this about the shoe, but if you look at the the very back, like because Travis Scott he smokes, right? Yeah. It has like a little Velcro. Ah, I forgot how to open it. There it goes. It has like this little Velcro part right here, right? It's like polyester lining on the inside. So like you can actually like conceal things in there, like you can put money, drugs. Yeah, you can put money. And I'm sure like the inspiration for it was like there were these there were this pair of shoes that came out. I think it was like the skunk the skunk dunks, mm -hmm. where like uh it was, it was made for like 420 like people that like to smoke weed and stuff. Yeah. That shoe had like apartments. To I probably like, feel like it's really dope for you to put something in there. Like let's say if you're going some I don't know. I mean if you certain neighborhood you go, they're gonna take your shoes. But if, if it's cool to go there, you can like hide something in here, yeah. like your, um, you know, if you have a couple dollars. It's really funny because back when I was really broke and I didn't have a wallet when I was like in elementary school, I used to put like my loose change for like the vending machine. In my socks. socks. Exactly. <laughs> I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same thing. So yeah, um, I have love for these. But like when it comes to the ones, if you're a sneakerhead, you don't have these or the Chicago's. I mean, it's not it's not a requirement to have them, but like you have to have them because this is where, especially these ones. I love these ones. The Chicago's are cool. I, I had the off white. I'm kind of sad. I, 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 I really, I try to get these. I couldn't. I got the Royals though. I got the Royal ones. That one was the closest I could get. Yeah, these. Um, I I I bought this from someone, and um, he said couple basketball player or somebody signed on it. I don't even know what, who signature is that, but like they really. Look, I think these are the 2016s, right? Yeah, because the 2016, they, they put like the number, like, this is pair number 8,000, or 84,000, yeah. mm -hmm. or I can't remember what the, what the number was, it was like. So basically, this is the size, and I think, um, I don't know, that's the date, or, was that the date? Oh, wait, because this came out in 2016, That's right? the date when the shoes get banned. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Because, and the cool thing about this, unlike, I have the, the Royal ones that came out like, a, like in 2017. They don't have the quality like on the time you can see. I gotta focus the camera real quick. There you go. It has like the tumble leather on the swoosh. It's not like that on the on the Royal ones. The Royal ones it just has the tumble leather like all around. But this really good quality one. Yeah, these are really good quality. I like the quality on these. I wear them a couple times and I like the fit. When like I told you guys earlier, I wear size ten. With the Air Jordan ones, I gotta go ten and a half. The reason being that the Air Jordan ones are never comfortable with shoes. If you go through the size, they always find a way to pinch it. See, oh, the, the the reason why is because like anytime a shoe has like really quality leather, it's like stiff. Exactly. It's Unless it's like a uh, like calfskin leather, like how they did with uh, what do you call it, the Balenciaga arenas? Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, this. I I actually get the, these ones. Um, the, this one is different. It kind of has like that Kobe Laker s because it has like purple like. Not, it doesn't match any of the colors on it. It's just purple and yellow. Just completely random. I like this one because of the colors. That's all. Yeah, I like the I like the material. It's like a. Yeah, the material is. It's not a suede, but it's like kind of like a new buck. Yeah. It's like a sanded down new buck. It's, it it has this aged look. Yeah, I like I I, I like that because of the colors. So um, yeah, with the twos, I got the the um just done two. They don't see these. The twos are my least favorite. Uh, type of sneakers but it's, with the don't see they're one of my favorite type of sneakers see the thing with the twos like you you have to really get the right colorway for this to look good and it's tough like when the first ones came out the all blue ones and it had like that little it had the red on the bottom everybody was like, oh snap it's like the red bottoms you know because yeah, you got like the, the it was cool so it had that high end designer look quilted leather like have you ever seen like a chanel purse like chanel purses they're famous for like the quilted leather like all over it so this has like the same thing that's what made it I think what was the retail for like was like three hundred for the shoe when yeah. it came out. Mm -hmm. The shoe was expensive. Like it had it, it had a designer sneaker price, and at that time, having a Jordan, especially a Jordan Two, the least popular one because it doesn't have like an Air Jordan logo, has the Wings logo just like the Jordan ones on the side. But the Jumpman is really only on the inside. But for this one, it's like 
it has just done. I'm not gonna take the sheet tree out, but it's like in there somewhere. But definitely a quality, quality shoe. Definitely yeah, worth you the can price. Take it out. So if you look right here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into the camera. I'm just gonna don't wanna, but yeah, it says the Jeff's Don on the inside right there. Yeah, these are really cool. You know, they use really some really good materials on these, and um, they're comfortable too. Okay, they're not making retros like they used to make it back then. Yeah. Like now, they're just like they're just dropping anything really. <laughs> I haven't most of the Jordans I got this year. They're just like very like few retros like OG colorways and then yeah. there's some new stuff. So with the threes, I, I I gotta get the, the, the white cement. Because um the 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 um the history behind this is uh, in high school I got the the black cement and I racked them so much I got used to it and you know I love those shoes but I later um I fell in love with these when I saw the Nike logo. It was the I had the one I had was um oh yeah it had the Nike logo mm -hmm. and I bought one um white cement that have the jump man on it. Okay, I remember this was 2011. Yeah, so when I bought these and you know, it was like, oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool. And, you know, it's not the high, but like, I just like them, you know, I, I love yeah. them. So me, on the other hand, I like the black cements more because I, I wear more black than anything because I like to like, I don't know, black makes everything look sleeker. And <laughs> like, if you see a Lamborghini, a lot of people yeah. want to get the flashy red, but I, I feel like the black is just like, it has like the louder statement. Yeah, um, but the force, I gotta get these. Yeah. I already know what these is. I gotta get these with the fours. I can't get the um the the, the white cement. I gotta get this one. So the reason why I got this one is because um I was gonna get the the union the union fours. Yeah. And um those are too hype and those are not original color. And, and then also and like the tongue, they have a stitch closure. Yeah, it's like the tongue is it's like, like this. folding yeah, half. It's like folding half. Stitch, and, so. You know, I gotta get these. I have one, and then I wear them so much. So, and this one, I will never take this out. Yeah, I keep mine. I keep my tag on it too. Yeah. The thing I like, uh, like certain shoes, like the Jordan fours and the Jordan threes, they have like the tag. Like the very, very OG one, it didn't have like the hard plastic tag. It yeah, had yeah, the, something. It had like the thin plastic. Here. Yeah. So like the newer ones, they have like the hard plastic. Like my retro threes, they have like the hard plastic. Yeah. For me, I like my top three fours are. The military blue, then it's the white cement, and then it's this one. The military blue, I like that one because it has like the leather all around, and then it has like the suede toe box. The only problem with it, because I have the pair from like 2012, this part is completely yellow. I've, I've restored it so many times, but because it's an old shoe, it's just going to keep yellow. Yeah, it's going to keep yellow. And but one, I, next year, the retro in it though, so I'm yeah, kind of excited. And, and one thing that happen if you don't wear your sneakers, this is going to crack. It's mm -hmm. going to crack if you don't wear your sneakers. Um, I mean, with the um, COVID-19 and everything, I'm trying to wear my sneakers as much as, as possible. I wear every sneakers in here, except the, this one, because this one's a new, yeah. obviously. For me, like, I had a pair in uh, in high school, senior year, 2016. I had a pair, it was crap. I bought out somebody for, for like, maybe, like, 130 and I paid someone $15 that he was a customizer. He repainted, like, the whole midsole for me, so it looked brand new again. That's cool. So yeah. it was, like, a quick little investment, yeah. so it, like, played out. I actually get this one, too. Um, but These are the yeah. Eleven Lab Four, so they yeah, had like fours. they had this cool concept where like what they did was they would take like a piece from a different shoe and then they put on a different retro. So this was like the pad leather of a Jordan Eleven. That's this the 11 this is one of the one of the oldest shoes in here. These Lab Fours, I really take good care of them. I love this shoe so, and that's why they I had a, they had a black one too. Except yeah. the black one, this part was white. Yeah, the black ones is cool too. And I think they had like a three. They had a three Lab Five where it was like. It was a pair, it was a retro five, and then it had like the elephant print all. I don't really like those that much. I feel like it was a little. It was with these, I gotta go with Supreme, the fives. Mm -hmm. So, um, why I got the Supreme, why I got the Supreme five was because um, I have the, the hoodie for these, I have the t shirt for these. <laughs> I, have the, I have the keychain on my back. <laughs> I have the hoodies and the t shirt for these five. This, these, these are dope. These are the, I have a picture, yeah. oh my god. I remember when the other ones, the camera ones came out, those ones were more hype because they have more going on. Yeah. And this was like a nice little color. But I'm trying to like, these are simple. Yeah, simple. These just, are, yeah, these are Just low-key, like the Supreme is just kind of blending yeah. in there. It's like something nice and low-key. And also, with Jordan 5, the best part to me has always been the lace lock and like the icy bottoms. Yeah, the icy bottoms and lace lock. I've worn this a bunch of times. Right. Let's get to these. I mean, this I'm not gonna emphasize too much because it's not the uh, 
original? Yeah, because the original yeah, one because yeah, it's, it's a, more red. This one is yeah. like it's, they call it they call it, but it's more like a pink. It's, yeah, like it's a pink. interesting. It's just, it's just basic. Right here, yeah. if you put it up to your shirt. Oh yeah, you can you can see the color difference. Like yeah, this is yeah. a lot a light brighter than like the red on the yeah. shirt. So you see that's that. It looked worse on the white ones though. The white ones it looked like like a Pepto Bismol pink. Yeah, I didn't really like that that one that much. Eight. Now this one is like a, this, a special edition one right here. Yeah, th this one is a pattern um, Air Jordan um, collaboration with pat pattern. These um, I like these because of the color, um, the color the. Um, dark brown and the pink and it's it, kind of like so much going on it's here it's kind of like an alternate like version it. of uh the border sevens yeah the border sevens this, like this is tough inflection of it yeah. like it has like normally you never see right on the midsole but they they, they got it going on it's pretty pretty cool yeah, these are these, these are nice and the thing about i gotta say out of all the jordans that are most comfortable jordan 7 is going to always be the most comfortable because it has like this uh neoprene lining it's like a, a soft booty so like you know what the the babies wear for the shoe is like that same material, but it's on the inside of the shoe. So when you put it on, it's like this extra little cushioning for your ankle. So it's really nice. That's why yeah. I only have one pair of Jordan Seven, which is the sweater ones. So I'm I'm actually trying to sell so I can go get the Bordeaux instead. But most comfortable retro out of all of them, next to retro. Next to, uh, Retros are the best. Things. Yeah. With these two, I'm not gonna emphasize much because it's just basic, you know. Mm -hmm. Not too basic though, cause look. Anytime a shoe has like a colorful like a uh, sock liner, like as you can see on the inside, it, it has the same pattern that's same on the pattern, sole. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna have to yeah. I only have one pair of Jordan eights, and I only have, I have, I have the Aqua eights, and I like the 2015 version. It has just like the OG. It has like the little glitter on the midsole, so it like shines. Um, these Michael Jordan never play on these. Michael Jordan never play on the nine, so I have to um. You know, um, pay homage to Camelo because he actually played on these, and this is um, his signature mm -hmm. shoes. Now, this is an example of a shoe that's flashy and subtle at the same time. Like yeah. it has the white, and it has like the gold, but it's not like too bright. Like those gold, air, those gold phone pods that came out, mm -hmm. it's not like super loud, but it's like you can actually wear this, and people aren't gonna be like, oh, look, look at this guy trying to do too much. Exactly. The, uh, with the mellows, this I feel, I feel like these are dope. You know, I, I never wear these either, but like um, if I wear these, I will appreciate every moment. These are actually nice. Mm -hmm. Continuing on, we're going with the Air Jordan 10s. The 10s is just the basic 10. I like this colorway because, like I told, like I said earlier, it's just my outfit. Whatever goes with my outfit, I just, you know, whatever I'm feeling, I just get. So this is just basic too. So. Yeah. For me, the Air Jordan 10s, I always like the quality of them. I just never had a pair because, like, literally all the colorways are them. They just they just changed. The yeah, they just changed the colorways. Okay, Let's say, yeah, that's like it. the Chicago ones, the, the Chicago 10s. Excuse me. It would be like red and black, and then they literally just switch those two colors. So it would be like three colors. The yeah. um the most fascinating thing about the about the tans is that every achievement they said every I don't think it's every up, all the achievements up to that yeah, year that up to that year oh yeah up to that year that this came out and um it, it's really uh, um it saddens me when it's at the bottom you have to step on it yeah they should have find somewhere up here I feel like yeah they could have done it like how they did the fearless ones where like right. they have like the quote and it's just like on the paper yeah but i guess it makes exactly. sense because like yeah. you know i mean it, it makes it's sense it's supposed, supposed yeah. to be like mike so you have the achievements yeah you're hooping. exactly so yeah it's, it still works so with the uh with the 11s this has got to be like top three most popular colors most popular color like the air Jordan 11 is the most coveted Every year, every during the holidays in December, like they always drop these. They always drop a new pair of eleven. It's either a new colorway or it's a retro. It's a retro. Like I don't even remember which one, which ones came out. No, last year, twenty nineteen, the red elevens retro. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this came out, and uh, I liked it. They say you if you want to see if it's fake or real, yeah, like just, scratch it. Yeah, you hear that sound. Like me personally, have the Space Jams from twenty sixteen, and then the Concourse of twenty eighteen, which I have to sell now because. They're too yeah. tiny. Like I actually wear these sneakers a bunch of times, but they only my, my sneakers look good because I always like take care of them. A lot of people like they they wear the shoes. The reason why the shoes get dirty fast is because they usually have like a few pairs of shoes, so they rotate them very quickly. But for me, since I put all my shoes back in the box, it's just like with clean clothes. Like you wash your laundry, right? I wash my laundry. So, <laughs> same thing with the shoes. The shoes are just like wearing a clean T-shirt. I'm not about to go outside looking dirty. Yeah, looking with dirty. the exception of like basketball shoes and shoes I do run tracking. Cause those shoes were meant to like, you know. Yeah, with wear. um, th th these are uh, the Gamma's Blue. Mm -hmm. With these, um, I love these shoes. 
This is one of my favorite shoes in the collection. I really love these shoes. I love the colorway. I love how everything is, you know, band with everything. This is just one of my favorite shoes. This one is like a I nice love these shoes. Yeah. It's not a lot of like Jordans, but like a very bright colorful. Yeah, bright We're so used to yeah. seeing like the black, white, and red combo. Right. So any, exactly. So anytime there's like a Jordan that has like blue in it, it's like oh snap! It's crazy because they're, they're not always doing it. Even with the yeah. Space Jam, the blue in that shoe was like so small. It's literally on the jump, man. And that's exactly. It. Yeah. That's the twelve and the thirteen. Basically, we're doing the countdown. Yeah, basically. So the 13, I, I got these two. Uh, I, I love these ones. I think, what, what year is this? Uh, this is 2018. So like, the other one that's like, as popular as this this 13 right here, it's the the bread 13s and then the flints. Those yeah, like the, the flints. The top three most popular colors. These are the 2018s, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are 2018s. I love this. I love this sneaker. Yeah, he got game. Some people call it the tuxedos too because it kind of looks like the suit. So a lot of people don't like the candy cane and some people feel in the candy cane. Mm -hmm. I love candy cane. I love See, the poutine. I like, it's so funny because when Jordan started going up, like I think the first Jordan that had like silver aglets was the Jordan 7. And like, you know, if you ever watched the episode of Phineas and Ferbus, like the tip of the shoelace is called the aglet. It's like they have the song A-G-L-E-T. So like all the shoes that have like silver aglets, it always, that's how you know it's going to be a special Jordan. I wear this so much. See how dirty the inside is? I love these shoes. I love these shoes. These shoes are comfortable. These are nice. I think I love them not a lot of people know this, but like uh, the Air Jordan 14 logo is designed after the Ferrari logo. Yeah. So like they actually have the a whole colorway. structure is like Ferrari. Yeah. They, they have like this one colorway. It's like the red suede. That's like the one I want to get. I was trying to get it one time when I was in, uh, it was uh, Soul Seekers when I was in Illinois, but they only had like size. It had like a size 12 or something. They didn't have a size 10 and a half, so I was kind of upset. Yeah. So I really, that's what shoot at. I'll, I'll pay resale for that because the quality is that good. Yeah, the quality on these shoes is really, really good. So now we're going to uh, um, the Yeezys, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of Yeezys, let's, let's but. Size quick. Yeah. I don't have a lot of Yeezys, but like I have a few pairs. Mm -hmm. And these Yeezys, um, Everybody make fun of these, including me, and I, I've never liked these. Yeah. I always I was think the same they're ugly. Like, oh, they look like that these. shoes. That they, shoes. They look better in person. Like, yeah, that I, look I don't want to sound cliche, but like, you see the colors, it's a lot brighter. It's not, it didn't look, yeah, it looks more brighter. Uh, they just don't do certain shoes. If you point a light here, it will, um, the trish trap will. Uh, yes, it's a, it has a 3M yeah. under it. So, um, let me ask you, if you go to Walmart. Yeah, I think if I, if I put my flash yeah, on, I'll show. Try to put it on. Let's flash on real quick. Like right here. Uh, maybe it might be too bright. Hold up, turn the light off real quick. There's like a switch. Where at the back? Yeah. It's on. It's on the wire. Oh okay. So like you see right here, you can you can see it a little bit. Like it's it has the 3M right here. It's kind of hard to see, but if you like take it if you're running at night, the 3M will show. So yeah, everybody was like, um, that's a dad shoe and you know, including me, I wasn't feeling this at all. So let me ask you, um, if you go to Walmart mm -hmm. and saw these there, they're not Yeezy, not Adidas. They'd probably be like... For $30, would you buy them? Probably, uh, probably not. <laughs> the, only reason, the only reason why I ended up keeping these, like when I had them, is because like all Yeezys, they're comfortable. They have the boost inside. Yeah, That's they what have makes the boost inside. But like, trust me, if you go to Walmart, you see these for thirty dollars, you won't spend money on you know them. No, it's funny. Fila, Fila made a shoe that looks just like this. Like they, all they did was they took the orange out and they have this all like wrapped around here. I was like at a, what is it? It was like a Zoomies or a Chili's, and they had like a pair of Fila's that look like the Yeezys. I said, That's so funny. And you know when a shoe is really popular, though, it's gonna get imitated by exactly. a bunch of brands. Yeah. So. So yeah, I got these and um, hopefully I sell them because I don't want to keep them here too long. Normally with sneakers, you know, um, if I if I tired of wearing sneakers or I don't like it, it has to go so I can replace another one. Because yeah. I don't have want to have too many sneakers yeah. in here. You don't want shoes to uh, collect too much dust. And um, with these, so these is this, um, a, is this the moon rock or the oxford tan? At that point, they started looking kind of like oxford tan. Yeah, yeah. So with these. Um, the history behind this is just me buying this off of somebody's feet. Because at the time, I didn't have the money oh, yeah. to buy it. You know, it's funny because since this is the V1, there's yeah. like a lot of big differences. Like, the V1s, they, they say like Yeezy, like right here. And then this, it just says supply 350, yeah. and then it says it backwards. 
So, like, so yeah, I, I literally bought this off of somebody's feet and I have them since then. So, uh, Yeezy is now, let's just go to uh, Foam Posit. Yep. So, start off with, it's just a uh, Supreme Foam Posit. I love this sneakers. Yeah, I had the, when these came out. They had the basketball shorts to come with them too. The basketball shorts. I have the um the uh, the jersey. I love this. Th these are dope. I feel like these are and and they go for ridiculous price. And I wear them a bunch. Yeah, I, really, I, I, I wear these shoes a lot. I like what they did with the tongue. Where like you know normally when they have a Supreme collab, they make it kind of lazy. They just slap Supreme. Yeah, on they it. just slap Supreme. But this one, they like have it on the tongue, and it's like this little nice little shiny piece yeah. right here. So and cool. and I think they have Supreme print all over and uh I, it's a really nice color it it's so funny like the the trigger for foam posits like not being just one color anymore was when they did the galaxy foam posits yeah. that's when they started doing like all the crazy colorways so if it wasn't for those galaxy foam posits, we probably wouldn't get some of these cool collabs that are out now exactly and um th th these are the timberlands i think these are cool i had these for I think they call the longest them, i think they call them the flax but we all know that <laughs> they look literally like the timberland the same, same color same color so basically, it's like if you wanted to have a boot, but you wanted to yeah, you don't want to have the teams. You, hoop in them, you can have yeah. these. So yeah, th th these are nice too. I, I, I like wearing these. Th 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 these are really awesome. So now I'm just going to um, some um, just regular like the, shoes. The missile, random. The missile. Oh, when I get the uh, the Margellas. Yeah, it is. It, yeah, the, the Margellas. I'm just going to random shoes, and I will tell you some. The Margellas. I got these. Um, what is, this is like this is like calf. What 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 fur is this? I don't know what what kind, they kill. It kind of, it kind of looks like a llama or a pocket. They kill something. Man, these shoes, but these yeah. shoes are really kind of like I guess you could say the goat. You know. Yeah, kind these, of like, these shoes. Like you know fur. the 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 the, the yeah. See, these shoes are really really dope. And yeah. If you see this in person, you will like them. These shoes yeah, they're are really, they're really soft. This is one of those shoes where like you probably wouldn't think about buying, but then if you put them on your feet, you, you'll change your mind. You'll like, change your mind. These, these shoes are dope. So I have um, Air Force One Bape. With this, with this one, yeah, Air Force Ones or the or the Bape has this. Bape ones. Oh, I never knew they had a Batman one. Yeah, they have a Batman. That's. Right. I know they did like a collaboration with the with the with DC for like the hoodies, like they had the mm -hmm. Superman Bape. Yeah. It took like forever to sell it on the this website. So basically, um, with these, um, I love this shoe so much. I wear them so much. These two start tearing apart, and then I customize. It. I gotta put my name on it. So yeah. I gotta put my name up here because everything here start um, cracking out. So I gotta put my name. These I love this shoe so much. This is one of my favorite pair of sneakers. See, for me, like the one Bay passes I always wanted. I wanted to get like the the Kanye West ones. Like that collab we did a long time. Those ones very are, like, expensive. Are really expensive. Those are five, I think it's like what, like like four or five. Yeah. There's not even a lot of those out. And it, got, it has like the the Yeezy Bear from the. Uh, the college dropout and then the graduation album. That yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, those. Oof. I always wanted those, and I, I don't think I'll have those. Those are expensive. Mm -hmm. These are just regular Gucci, um, Gucci, um, yeah, Gucci shoes. sneakers. Yeah, yeah. See, I had the the one with the snakes, and it's like one one. The back of one is green, and then the back of the other is red. Now yeah, I have the like I have that. like the glitter stud one, and it has like the tiger head on the tongue, and then it's just. I don't like this. It's kind of a little too much. Yeah, I mean, for me, it looks cool. It's kind of like. Especially when you're wearing them at night for like a date, yeah. they're like it's like this nice little thing. It's supposed to comment like, if you got like some diamonds on or something. Just, like, so basically, something. you know, I can't show a sneaker collection without showing the little dunks. Yep. Yeah, I love the SB. Yeah. For those who couldn't put it together, SB stands for a skateboarding. Skateboarding. Yeah. yeah. The SBs well, I have yet I... to get the Tiffany's and the the Pigs Fly and oh the De La Souls. Those are expensive. Those are really expensive. They're how much? Like thousand or so? Yeah, they're, they're like three K plus. With these, you know, I, I, I do break dance in these. I don't skateboard, but I break dance in these. Yeah, I love these. These are comfortable too. Mm -hmm. And, um, the Kobe's. You know, um, these shoes, there's an issue behind these shoes. I bought these shoes for $150. It was, um, it was kind of like new, but used from one of my, uh, my homies. And now these shoes go for how much? I don't even remember. That was high. That was high school. A lot, cause cause after Kobe passed away, as everything many, many, anything happens when someone passes away, the value of stuff goes. Like when Michael Jordan go passes away, 
his all the retros is yeah, gonna man. jump like two hundred to a thousand dollars. So yeah, so I love this. I I kind of like the the darker color with the, the black and gold. You know the one I really like that the one all star one is like the it looks like the, the I think it was 2015 or twenty sixteen like the ray gun. Mm -hmm. It's like it looks like the lava. Yeah, yeah. can't remember the name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, like, those, like, those are nice those. too. Yeah, and like oh the Venus beaches too. Those are nice. Like, so down like here is just um let me um. I'm not gonna go through all the sneakers because I have some um, sneakers down here, mm -hmm. basic sneakers down here. I'm just gonna go through this. You you, you have this right, Azzy? The Air Max. I don't yeah, have a pair. Is. I don't have a pair of Air Maxes right now. Oh, this is one with the Velcro. Yeah. Thing. The cool thing about this Air Max, I would, um I had these long time ago, and you see they were and everything. And um, you can take everything and replace it with new ones. Yeah, this is this is like, this was like way before the Sean Wilderspoons, right? Yeah, this is yeah. way before that. Velcro is cool. Like I like I like like when the Travis Scott the Air Force Ones came out. Mm. You could take the whole swoosh off and just like yeah, th th those ones. are cool. So, you have those. Yeah, I, I saw those. Those, those, videos, those are yeah. nice. I like those. Yeah, th these are cool. Velcro is fun when it's like as kids we used to have the Velcro like the straps. Now we have like Velcro patches, which is cool. So the fair god um, Chuck Taylor's All Star. Mm -hmm. Converse. You know, it's really funny because like in back in the day when Chuck Taylor's first came out, they didn't have like the little the little uh, tab right here. So people, what they did was to make their Chuck Taylor's really tight. There was like this trend. They would wrap their lace around the back so they could tighten the shoes. So yeah. They could play basketball. Cause people used to play basketball, dude. Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. This was actually one of the first basketball shoes. Yeah. It's crazy because like if you play basketball on these right now, the the ankle support is not strong. I don't it's even know strong. how they did yeah. it. And, and and I feel like this is dope, especially yeah. with these back here and everything. Just like the off white, like it has the off white color right here, so it's not it's not pure white. So it, it can't get when dirty. it get dirt when it gets dirty, yeah, you it doesn't even easy. show. Yeah. Very easy to clean. The other ones I like the Comer de Garcon ones too. I'm thinking about getting the off white uh, Comer de Garcon uh, Chuck Taylors. Yeah, Mike. They're like you. they're like a hundred a hundred something. They're not even like the resale value is not even that bad on those. Air Force Ones because you know for the outfit you know yeah sometimes you just you're just not doing anything like <laughs> you're going to the grocery store you don't want to going to the grocery store you're gonna put this on a white like, T-shirt yeah. on or whatever. these you know I barely wear these yeah. these are the but advanced I, old schools yeah. right here with the old schools you have to have them because you know if you want to grab like something from the pairs. store yeah you want to go to Seven Eleven or whatever mm -hmm. you have to have these and I have these I appreciate having these but I barely wear them yeah. see you my see. my first pair of Vans that I got I, I skated in those like the authentic era pair. It's like the one where it doesn't have this and it's just yeah. like, it was like paint splatter all over it. Then I got the checkerboard ones. Mm -hmm. It's like blurry in the back. Yeah, and then, I used to have this too. And then the other one I got too. I got all a, all, all white pair and then I got a customized uh, Sprite Custom. And yeah, so that was just something I did. And oh yeah, and I got the, uh, I have the Star Wars Vans, the Skate Highs. Oh yeah, it I saw like those on your dark, video. Yeah, it has like this Darth Vader. Yeah, with this has too. The if you look here, you can see the spider web, I swear to God, look. Yeah. He has a worn them in forever. I was not wearing those, those bro. Forever. I don't wear my. I don't wear these. It's funny though, because these are like the most comfortable ones. Because you just they just are the most comfortable. You can literally wear I these. I love these. You can wear these. It's house just shoes. that yeah. It's just that I pay too much attention up here. Mm -hmm. I can't reach down there for anything. So yeah, that was funny. Yeah. These was actually um the yeah, LeBron these, soldiers. These are what you hooping. I got like a pair of LeBrons that I hoop and I have, I think I threw them away because they had a hole in it. Like they were, uh, the entourage. These shoes is so special to me because I actually customized these shoes. Oh, this is Nike ID? Nike ID shoes. Yeah. Oh, I, I see you got your, your yeah, initials. Yeah. I actually custom put yeah. my, you know, my uh, initial and everything on these shoes. These shoes was, I, I actually dedicated these shoes to my grandma. She died. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, um, she actually raised me and all the struggles and everything and my favorite. Everything about these shoes just explained. The fact that it's a soldier and I'm a big fan of the, even though I'm not in the military, you know, but I have so much respect for soldiers because I know they're doing the best job in the world. Yeah. So, you know, with that and everything, so I just, it have to be on this shoes. This shoes explain a lot. Yeah. And if you can, um. It has like the bread, the bread. Yeah, the bread too. and everything. Bread is one of, red, bread is one of my favorite, um, colorway and everything. This shoes means a lot to me. You, you know, can actually really shoe. hoop it because this, great shoe to hoop in, by the way. These shoes? Is my least favorite shoes to wear because to get in here is a one it's one thing. Mm -hmm. To get out of these shoes is another struggle. So these shoes mm -hmm. are just ridiculous. Say, that that takes me to my most sentimental shoe. Like I have like the what is it the KD the KD seven the on pearls. Mm -hmm. and I remember when I got I bought it because like my uh, cousin he had like committed suicide right. So like 
I got those dedicated to him, and it was like the wing. That, you know, they were made for the breast cancer awareness too. So mm -hmm. I just kind of like put his initials on the box and stuff yeah. like that. So like, it's a shoe that I I just I wore just one time, like yeah. twice this year. So um, I, you know, uh, when it comes to sneakers, I always tell my friends and people around me that sneakers you can you can't store sneakers. Um, you can't be like, I'll keep this sneaker because it's special to me. Only basketball player should do that. But um, with this sneaker, I can I I, I can. I can stop wearing these for 10 years and still have it in my closet because the these way. have history. Yeah. The history behind these sneakers, the high top, you know, the bottom, the, the whole, everything Ooh. meant so much to me. It's just that it translates so much to me. Any sneaker back, that tells a story. Yeah, tells a story. These sneakers, these sneakers tells a story. Back in, in Africa and everything, to the struggle, you know, people and everything, you know, these shoes tells a lot of stories. So this is one of the shoes I will never wear if I, if I can't wear it, but I will still have it. So, <clears throat> yeah, we go to um, Chuck Taylor's. Oh, I see. I had a pair of these when I was in uh, 10th grade. My cousin got these for my birthday. He got me the, he got me the black ones. Was it the black ones? It was, it was the red, he got me the red ones. And then I had those. So, um, with the Chuck Taylor's, I feel like everybody should have them. Because, like, if you want to go on some casual date, mm -hmm. you know, with satin girls... Not like the who ride, but like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I, I, I had these, I wore, on, them, put your I wore them till like, back when I was wearing a size 9, like, all high school, yeah. up until like 11, I wore them till like, they, this part started like, it became like, like a slice of bread, it was, yeah. it was skinny. Now I have the high top, I have the leather high tops, those are hard to put on because like, yeah, they, you gotta loosen the lace at the top. Every, it's it's skinny at the single, top yeah. and you finally get your feet. So like, like if you see all of my sneakers are like list them because I could get into them and out of them without struggle. Yeah, that's why I like and wearing these. Fives. You know, I feel like these are cheap. These are like 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, maybe, so, maybe, maybe 40, 50. Yeah. And, 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 and if, if you're a new sneaker head or you try to get into sneakers, I think you should start with these sneakers. Start with the Vans, the Chuck Taylors maybe and stuff the, and the then go up. Ones. Because yeah. with these, you can have so many of them, you know, every day you wear different sticker people would see, you know? This is what we call, like, the the, the timeless classic. Yeah, you, you should got have the Adidas, You got the Adidas Shell Toes, you got the Jordan 1s, the Nike Air Force 1s, the Nike right, SBs, yeah. and then just, like, I I think that's pretty much it. And, oh, yeah, the Timberlands, like, yeah, the stuff Timberlands, that, like, yeah. you should have these those shoes first. came out, like, over 30 years ago. Still yeah. a popular shoe. Still a popular like, This one, too. Old shoe. Some things never got a style. This is proof of that. And since it's really cheap, you can beat them up so bad. So with these, these are the Balenciaga. Before these, before Balenciaga started getting really ugly, these are the Bal These are the only Balenciaga I like, and I get these because um, these was nice at the time, mm -hmm. and I love them so much. There was this is like the Balenciaga and, arena. Yeah, and for some reason, I barely wear these. I it'd just like, don't wear. It'd them. be like that. Like my uh, I love low top. My Space Jam Eleven. Yeah. I wear them like three times a year. And there's like those shoes like we're like two two twenty with tax two thirty three, and yeah, I, so I I only wear them three times a year. These are the only Balenciaga I think I will get for now. I don't like the the socks jump. The, the, the socks jumps are comfortable. Yeah, extremely comfortable and everything. A lot of people have them. But I don't like. I like these the ones. The one I the ones that I don't like the new ones the triple S. You know the big ones. Oh my they're god. They're like they're so big like so big. Make, yeah. You, let's say you wear a size. Know, let's, let's say you wear a size ten, right? They look like you wear like a size like fifteen. Like no, look. Like your LeBron or something. The, the thing about those shoes is. With the Yeezys, mm -hmm. they're like female. A, it's, a, it's a dad. It's a dad shoe. If a female wear those shoes, female will never go wrong with big shoes. I don't care big anything big. Female just fit on everything. Female will never go it's just wrong. Just like with those uh, you know those Rihanna Puma, the Fenty Pumas. Yeah. Like they have like the the thick sole. It's like a a, a platform shoe, so it makes them look taller. Yeah. So exactly. One, every one, every, one every big wear. shoes, female makes those things look good. Yeah. For us, like, right? We, our feet are already big, so this, <laughs> this is like literal clowns. Have you ever seen the Ronald McDonald commercials? Like yeah. the McDonald's, he's just wearing the the shoes and just like take up half the the TV screen. Exactly. So yeah. you see, these 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 are something I used to go to the gym with or whatever. I, you know, I do the same thing. My ultra, I got the three point ones, the Continental ones. The one, well, for I, me, these are uncomfortable. Sometimes they kind of like my feet kind of go like. This. You know, the way to make these comfortable, you gotta take the insole out. Cause when real? you take the insole out, mm -hmm. you, you know how like it has the boost. You yeah. can, your foot is sitting on top of the boost. For real? Yeah. So this one, I'm like the insole is like is blocking the boost. Oh, okay. So when you put it on like when I I run on the treadmill, I run outside, mm -hmm. and like my foot, it since this takes the shape of your foot because it has it curves up, it, yeah. it arches. Yeah. So like I take the insole out, and it's like way more comfortable. 
Because your foot is literally touching. I like this, I like this. There's a, there's a one of them um, around the block is comfortable. Yeah, like the, I remember when the first ones came out, like they were the, all, the triple white. Yeah. And then they find the triple black. Those were really popular too. So with See, this, now, this is these. a cool one right here. <laughs> these, I had this long time ago. These think, have wings on them. Yeah. Because the Arm Pearls had wings on both, but this is the yeah. What the KD7. So yeah, it, it, was, it, it has like everything from almost all the ones. These. I think this is like from the Black History Month or something like that. Like the this style right here. Yeah. It's a lot like of the different. The Nike Zoom and everything. I, I love this KD. Yeah. See, what's funny is I think this was the last KD that I like. After KD7, I stopped liking them. Because everything else. Just like Le Le for himself. Just like LeBron 10. After that one, I kind of stopped liking LeBron's. They, they, they just started looking like. They, they stopped becoming the lifestyle shoe and they just became more basketball because the original Nike basketball, like the LeBron 8s, like the Horn no, the LeBron 9 Hornets, the LeBron 8 South Beach, they were basketball shoes at its core, but they were lifestyle shoes too, so you could wear them on and off the court. The new like basketball shoes are strictly for the court. They have no like type of fashion to them. They're just they're just shoes that you hoop in. You know, I can't I can't talk about shoes or basketball without giving an homage to Iverson, who actually changed the game, you know? So um, I dedicated this to him, and I, I love the shoes. My grandma actually loved the jacket because I bought her a yellow jacket for these, and mm -hmm. it, it, it was popping, and she liked that, and, and since the, then, the I, I soles, The soles are, like, icy, but they're not, like, the typical, like, light blue icy. It's, like, a dark blue. Yeah, so dark it's different. blue icy, the Reebok, you know. This, I think this is the only Reebok I have. Yeah, I really like how, like, unlike the Jordan 11s, these don't yellow fast. Yeah, these don't yellow, and, and these are nice. I, I love I think these. it's because they have the dark blue tint, because, like, the older retro 11s, they had, like, the, it was, like, clear. It was, mm -hmm. like, the milky, so, like, it yellowed really fast, because they didn't have that blue tint. To, mm -hmm. to preserve the shoe, so like when it get old, gets old, it starts looking like the piss yellow color. Exactly. And it starts looking ooh. So yeah, with the I've with never the, seen it before. Damn ass! I just grabbed these. These I like these because you know at the time you these know are different. I've never seen this one before. These are, these are, let me see what what year this came out? 20, 2017, 18? I have not. This is my first time seeing it, but these so are nice. Yeah, though. yeah oh. these are nice. You know these um these are just you know just basic nike that you should have in your collection like if you want to like you know go out grab ice cream whatever these are nice how do you have Star these Wars. i have the <laughs> i have i have a version of the, i have the skate high ones oh the skate high ones and just like this like I, my favorite thing about all the star wars collabs they have like the, the lightsaber handle hold on let me focus get the fuck yeah so it has like the lightsaber handle it's pretty cool yeah, this is the Star Wars babe. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> the Star, Star Wars vans yeah. and yeah. yeah so I, I actually have a, I actually have a T-shirt, a Star Wars babe T-shirt for these and those. Oh my God, those are those are nice. Yeah, I think I love there's one is like Han Solo and it's like Baby Milo. I think I've seen yeah, that. Baby Milo. And um, my brother actually the shoes is all the way down there because he will come and take these shoes where. So I actually have to hide it. I bought one for him, but you know how kids do. I told you guys at the beginning of the video that I'm I'm gonna if I could wear anything with these, it would be these. This oh, Stan okay, Stan yeah. Smith, um, human made. So basically, um, human made um, change this little bit and put um from Stan Smith to Adidas and human made. You know, these are really dope. So basically, it's like yeah. the, literally the perfect. Fit. I think they made a tracksuit too. Yeah, they made a track. They made everything. The they made a hat and, and and everything. Yeah, you ever seen like, like the Alexander McQueen? A lot of people don't know this, but Alexander McQueen, they took a heavy inspiration from Heavy inspiration, that's why I don't Smiths, got those, you know? Because what, what, they're basically just like uh, the Stan Smiths, but they, they have, have the... Add little bit, yeah, they, it's, it's like a, high. The sole is like, okay, this is the sole for the Stan Smith. Yeah. The Alexander McQueen is like this thick, so it gives you like three inches high. It's like a, equal to a Timberland height. Yeah. It makes you really tall. So you see, so um, I, I feel like these are really dope, you know, if you have those basic Adidas tracks, so you could go... And I think the, original Stan Smiths, they're like yeah. $50, $60, so it's, yeah. not, it's nothing... It's actually an affordable shoe. Yeah, it's not a but but but, but these are little. Uh, yeah, little, just because this is a collab. These so. are bit yeah. Collabs. I like this color. They have the black black colorways and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have different colors, but I love this. Yeah, one. the traditional one is the green because that was like the first colorway. Yeah. You know, anytime there's the first colorway of anything, that's the one that's gonna be the most popular because it's the original. And sometimes it's not all about you having Jordans or you having Nikes yeah. or Adidas. Sometimes you, you gotta be casual. Yeah, it's just nice kind of Faber yeah, Maxes. Yeah, Faber, Faber Max sometimes Plus. You gotta the with the bubbles at the bottom. I remember when. They first came out. Off white, like, off white spoiled these. I swear yeah. to God, the off white spoiled Look, these. when these first came out, right? Everybody was like, "Oh man, I don't like. They look like you're walking on Tide Pod. You look like you're walking on Ice Cube. Then you put them on your feet. It's just like the Yeezy. They're like, oh, these look ugly. Then you put them on. It's like, oh, they're so comfortable. It doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. And then eventually, I just saw. I like the design. Like, 
I like this one more than the original one that came out, like the Vapor Max Plus. Yeah, yeah. And they have like the actual. Yeah, these are nice. These are comfortable shoes. They feel kind of weird, but like they're nice. You know, this is just something you can't always wear Jordans. So sometimes you gotta balance. Like my whole collection is just balanced. Everything is just you know. A little bit I, of everything. Yeah, I I I can go to. Washington DC and wear these and go to um, school and wear these and just you know, yeah, when I first started with my collection I was like okay I'm only gonna I'm only gonna have retro Jordan, yeah I, I got older and I'm like okay I'm wearing Adidas I'm wearing Vans and it was like the Vans is what I was wearing the most you know, sometimes like Jordan's is like too much to be wearing to like yeah. a simple occasion and and um um this is the Air Force I feel like everyone in their collection should have this so I have these I, I'm, I think I'm on my, I'm on my Fifth pair right now. <laughs> yeah, cause this this is my third pair. Yeah, I, you, so basically, so um, with the Air Force One, this is one of the shoes I, I get when I came to America. This is actually one of the shoes I bought was the darker colorway, and that's not attractive at all. Yeah, the black Air Force One. <laughs> when, you wear black, look, when people wear the black, they call it black Air Force activity. And when you're wearing this, they think that's either you're a killer, you're a robber, or a scammer. <laughs> was, if you're wearing black Air Force One, it's, it's always like it's a bad stereotype to it. Yeah. So basically, uh, with these and and. Uh, one thing um, we um, when we start this um, collecting shoes or have shoes like um, don't try to get what everybody else is getting yeah. and don't try to get all Jordans. You gotta keep like I said earlier in the video, you gotta buy and everything that attracts your um, everything that attracts your emotion. You know you gotta have something that you feel and not something that everybody have. I can't have shoes my friend have. A lot of people before I get um, these no before I get um, which was that. These it was actually um the um the, the low the Travis Scott. Um it was actually um the um the Union, the Union ones. And I was gonna get the Union one because my friend get it and then at the end of the day I was like, why am I getting the expensive shoes? Mm -hmm. And I don't even like it much. I don't like the Union ones. It's yeah. cool and everything. It's really but I don't, like it. it's not I don't know if you remember this one show called Even Stevens. Like uh Shia LaBeouf is the main he plays like the main character and like they had an episode where like He's going out of his way to get like the, the new trending sneaker, and then he finally gets them, and then everyone moves on, and then everyone they get the they get again. the new sneaker, yeah. and now he's mad because he just spent all his money, all his money. and his resources trying to get this just yeah. for him to get a new one late the next yeah, day. Yeah, so I I feel like you should have these, and I'm I'm gonna show you something different after these. Something is either you from New York or LA that you can have if you really wanna um uh um put your game out there with the Air Force ones. But before that, let me show you something. This is a New Balance. Now this um, is a Bodega, right? Yeah, Bodega New Balance. These New Balance are dope. Yeah. These, I feel like these are comfortable. Yeah, see, we, look, we they live, feel big too. We live in the DMV, right? And DMV New Balances are very big. People are like, oh, you're wearing that shit. I'm like, you don't you know, relax. no. Especially these ones. These, these ones are big, and you know, yeah. these ones. I, I love this. They're comfortable. They're big and everything. And when mm -hmm. I wear this, I wear it with a um, little bit of a baggy, like straight jeans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wear so I, I always, I always, they look good with your I always jeans. get compliments when I wear my New Balances because people always be like, oh man, uh, these are so nice. They're like, they're my, I have the 990 V4s, yeah. the, gray, the gray and white ones. Mm -hmm. like, oh, these are, because it's got the suede, it's got the 3M, and it's like, yeah, oh, these are the, nice. Yeah. Um, um, with, with these, I, I, don't, I don't wear skinny jeans with these. It look funny. Mm -hmm. These are big on my feet. These like, are you can't wear really. skinny jeans with Air Force Ones because like, it's a bulky shoe. You wear it, then it looks like leggings. You got to have like the slim fit stacked look. For yeah, it. what's funny, what's funny is um, you keep seeing the Air Force Ones and the three stripe, the mm -hmm. pants. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, to be honest with you, I, 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 that's their opinion, but like, that's Nike, that's Adidas, yeah, it's like, competitive here. To me, I feel like, it, it's, 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 like a, it's like a classic, like I've seen people, they wear like, uh, they wear the Adidas, the Tiro 19s, the Tiro 7, and they wear like Android 11s. I'm just like, yeah. it, it's a <laughs> classic, it looks weird. So me personally, I feel like uh, it's more of the, like the street niggas, mm -hmm. yeah, because they don't, they don't, they don't care. Yes, yes. <laughs> they just wear stuff, yes, so like, yeah, nobody tell them not to what to do. So yeah. like, they'll do whatever they feel like. So last but not least, let me show you guys these. These are the Air Force One, New York. Um. Yeah, these are actually made for New York. They have one for LA. So basically, these. Came out, um, what year? You remember what this came when this came out? These are actually dope. These, um, they make one for LA. The LA joint is kind of like a little bit light mm -hmm. than darker, but these are, um, the, um, these are for New Yorkers. Yeah. They, um, they actually see all the big, I all the like, bigger team in New York. I feel like this might have started the trend for like the what the sneakers. Cause like before, this was like unheard of, like, oh, oh this is actually what the, it's a what the, yeah. yeah. So it was like, they're like, oh, you know, 
when these first came, I was like, oh, why are they so different? They, no, everyone's so used to seeing the shoes yeah. that both of them are exact same. It's like, oh, what if we switch it up? When I see these stitches, uh, it, it gives me a memory of the like union. The union, yeah, because yeah. it has like that triangle stitch. Yeah, all that stitches. So oh, basically, actually, in the soles, I never even noticed it. They're like, they're translucent. Yeah. You can't tell because they're solid colors. Like, yeah. This one is red. This is blue, yeah. but if you want to step your game up a little bit, get the water because these are really nice. And they said all the big teams are uh, in the East Coast of mm -hmm. New York, their they, um, their badges or yeah. their oh, whatever it's here. Get into the material. Like yeah, right this here. material is actually a real basketball. Real basketball, like the, you know, the, what is it, the pig leather or something yeah. like that? Like, it's actual actually basketball real basketball. Material. It's pretty cool. Feel like this is like actually the like, yeah, material sweet like, material. and it's really, really dope. These shoes, this quality right these here. shoes are built. These shoes is really built, you know. Like, and since these have so many different you can literally wear this for anything. Yeah, you can really wear this for anything. You can. These, these are dope. I love these shoes. I love these sneakers, mm -hmm. but the thing is with this COVID-19 and everything, I, I don't go places. I do my work yeah. here and everything in school. Really, everything the, is here, the so place I go most of the time is gas station grocery yeah, store. Yeah, exactly. Gro grocery store. Into work. Yeah. Always. Every day I'm at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah so basically, it's just um, regular sneakers I've been wearing around. I'm running, running shoes and stuff. Mm -hmm. With these, you know. I still, I still have mine. I had the blue yeah. one. I gave it to my friend and he wears them to, he used to work at Domino's. Yeah, I had the blue ones I got like yeah. back in the You said in your video, I heard it, I was yeah. like, dang. Yeah. I gave it to my friend. Mm -hmm. And then I have the floor print one. Like those, I, you know, it's funny, I got this for like $40 at like uh, Shoe City. It's on sale. And it was like three years after they came out. Yeah, they so were like 60 bucks. Sometimes you wait for a certain shoe. I wear these shoes a lot. It'll, it'll go out of style and then it'll come back. It'll come back and it'll be cheaper. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I can. Oh yeah, these are the... Um, the Asics Gel Light 3s. <laughs> Asics are black. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wear this a lot too, you know, the ACs. Sometimes, you know, sometimes all you get, you, you don't want to, you don't want to um, blend with people where you wear expensive shoes. Sometimes you just want to be like everybody just else. Key, yeah. yeah, and then wear, you know, just regular that's, shoes. That's why, I, that's why I wear my Vans a lot. I wear my Vans. Yeah. Too high. They're, they're black and white. They're simple. They're to the point. They're not too loud. And like, when I, yeah, somewhere, not too loud I don't have to attract attention to myself. Because normally, when you wear a nice shoe, people go, oh man, I like a shoe where you get it. Sometimes I don't feel like, I'm like, can I just like wear my nice shoes? And exactly. Like, yeah, and chill, you know. Yeah. And, and sometimes, trust me, if you see me out there, you know, most of the time, you know, it, it just. It, it, it's just we're gonna be on the same level, you know. I'm not trying to like be. You yeah, know, I don't, above it's everybody. like when you go to someone's wedding and you try to like wear the nicest suit. The nicest suit. Like, what's the point? What you trying to prove? Why are you trying to flex on people that are just all trying to be on? Exactly. The, yeah. So what, with this shoe, why I still keep this shoe? This shoe I was wearing a lot. See, this is actually my first Jordan ever mm -hmm. in America. Cause uh, when I was in, um, back home in Africa, my mom and my dad they like send like every six months. So like every six months I'll have like two, two, three pair of jeans. In the space of um, two, three years, I have so many shoes. I have so many shoes. That I have so many shoes that um, all of my friends and combine all their shoes is my shoes. At the time we don't have shoe box and everything. Mm -hmm. Africa they just build shelves for you. So they was there. My, some of my friends would come and take shoes that I didn't like, know. When right I first started having shoes, like I was wearing like uh, remember that place it's called Payless. When I first got to America, my mom only 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 let me wear a pair. I had one pair of Nike shoes that my uncle bought me. My mom and I wore them to like they they fell apart. Um, the, the, the funny thing is, my mom she actually sent me Jordans back there. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, it's hard for her to pull give me three hundred dollars to buy Jordans. So my when she gave me my first um, I think it was like five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I get creative recreation. That was actually my first shoes when I came. The very day I came, I get creative. I had the high and the low creative recreation. Since then, um, two months later, I got these. From these, I got the threes, the the um, the black, uh, yeah, the black cement. So, since then, I start um, having Jordans. But m most of the time, my collection was bigger than this. It goes all the way over there. But like, it was just less hype stuff. It, it was some hype stuff and less hype. But the, my my point, the point I try to prove is, you can't have all those shoes and and tell me you wear every, everything. Everything you see here is something I'm actually wearing. You know what I'm saying? Something that I, if I don't, if I didn't wear it yet. I'm gonna wear. It. Yeah, like you so see, yeah, you, you can't have that much sneakers in the way. That's you know that's. You see people's collection like uh like like a mare or uh DJ Khaled. They got shoes that they don't wear. They're getting free shoes too. So I'm like, no, um, I would I would be wearing my shoes. For them, it's actually they are um they're millionaires, mm -hmm. and sometimes um a manufacturer send them sneakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like they don't buy sneakers. Like and, and another thing is I never st uh, stand in line for sneakers because I always have the money to afford it. And um, if you if you are like me, you have your regular job, you go, you're a student, you know, you got car, you have bills to pay, you can't spend money on expensive shoes or put money on shoes that you can't wear. 
it will not make sense. Yeah, it's literally backwards. It's like yeah. it's like me buying a bed and be like, wow, that's a nice bed. I'm just gonna look uh, at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna sleep. Everybody's out here sleeping in their bed. You're like, no, I like the way my bed looks when it's made, dude. I'm, you can just clean it up. Just exactly. rip, use it. Get his juice out of it and then clean it up and then use it again. Yeah, if you're a regular guy, don't do that. Don't buy shoes that you can't use. Uh, like every single pair you see here, when when we start going back to school, you see I wear every single one of these shoes. I won't wear the same shoes twice, but I wear them. Yeah. I like what I like to I like to, I like to rotate. So just, maybe one maybe once a week. If it's like a shoe like like black, like uh, my Vans and stuff, those shoes I wear a lot just because yeah. I'm doing regular things like go grocery store shopping stuff like that. But so, like if I'm wearing a nice outfit, like I'm going out with my friends, going on a date, and I just wear some higher yeah. end stuff, yeah. No, if I'm going on a date, I'm not wearing higher end stuff. <laughs> For real. For me? Okay. I'll just wear regular bands. It depends on the girl, though. Some most times. I think the last day I, 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 wear... I think the last day I went, I was wearing like Yeezys. Well, well, I just ended up wearing slides. So. I'll just wear regular Vans or whatever because, you know, we're trying to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to see that part of me yeah. that you, you know, I... I she's like, oh, I see you got the red bottoms on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You reach, yeah, yeah. That's going to try to stay with you for the wrong reason. But see... Yeah, so like, yeah, I, I, I wish like, I, 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 I'm not wearing something to make me look bad, but it's just that yeah. I'm just going to wear like... Um, so the, something casual. Yeah, like the uh, Air Force Ones or, you know, even the ones, the Air Jordan mm -hmm. Ones, I can wear that. I think, I think there's only one shoe that you haven't shown so far, really. It's like uh oh yeah. <laughs> oh the off white this yeah. this this is the most wearing shoe no this is actually the second wearing shoes I ever have I wear this so much look it stinks right now he <laughs> he knows this thing I wear these shoes every day every single day even today I wear these shoes I love the shoes so much they're comfortable I wear them so it's really much. funny though because like because they're the shoe the off white the whole aesthetic is that the shoes are deconstructed yeah so the more you wear it it still looks the more good. you wear it yeah it still look good and I wear these shoes so much. This is the most worn shoes right now. I wear this even I'm about to wear these shoes right now. Why? Because they're comfortable and I can just put my feet in there. Yeah. I already tied the lace. I don't care. These shoes, these shoes, these shoes are dope. So um I still have some shoes here. The ACs have different color. Yeah, this is casual too. Yeah, like this is like on the same level as the do balance. Not a lot of people yeah. wear it, but the people that wear it, they wear it a lot. Like they wear me. it a lot. I don't have a pair of aces yet, but I, I'm more of a I wear a lot of new balances. Yeah. Too. Let me see if I can um yeah, this is running shoes. I think I have like five to ten pair of running shoes. I still have some over there that I didn't hear. Mm -hmm. so I have different running shoes because most of, I try to run a lot, you know. Yeah, Instead you of got, going to the gym, shoot, live. Yeah. I mean, what you do, like, you inspire me a lot. Yeah. And even even when you, the best thing about running is that, especially now, you don't have to wear a mask when you're running. Yeah. You're actually already, you're breathing more often. Anyway. Yeah, you inspire me a lot. The way you walk out and everything, mm -hmm. I, I wish one day we can like walk out together, you know, yeah. when you have time. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. He, oh my God. I, I, like, the I is my inspiration. I was, me, I was working out before I, I joined the Navy. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, because in my job that I used to do, I used to like install granite countertops. A lot of people like, oh, how do you get all this money to work? I was working, the, the answer is not easy. I was working 12 to 16 hour shift. That's why I had a lot of shoes. It wasn't like, oh, I just woke up and I just bought some That's shoes. That's the, the um, like, I, like I was saying, I was emphasizing, you don't, you don't, and one of the things about sneakers that you should know if you're a regular sneaker head or not a sneaker, just have love for sneakers like me. If you have these shoes, if you have the red bottoms, they cost a lot of money, and you work um regular uh, weekend job, people are gonna question. That's how the fit come about. Yeah. How do you get it? You work, uh, you get paid eleven fifty, and mm -hmm. you work eight hours a day. Yeah. You work if, twice see, a week. If I was getting paid, so you that see, real, so sometimes you know, um, it, uh, um, if you do too much, you know, mm -hmm. people will question because they exactly. they want to know how you get it. I, I forgot. I don't remember who who started to say, but it's an old saying. It's like don't spend more than what you make what you make yeah, yeah. you can't you can't spend don't, don't you live make. don't live above your means like when i first started getting shoes like i i remember i bought like five hundred shoes like at one that's time, the same thing but only because i was making so much money at the time that like it didn't so i was like selling cookies i was baking my own food and selling it to people at school so i actually had the money like it wasn't like oh i'm just gonna go ahead but i wasn't buying thousand dollars i was buying shoes at like 180 to 200 it wasn't like i was spending a whole check on one pair of shoes. That's what I'm saying. Like stuff like, like this, you don't yeah. do it until you get a job. Until you get a job, you gotta get a job. You gotta get a job and stump from. You, you can't have bills and buy spend all your money on shoes. You know you got you, you gotta you gotta know the balance. There is a time to play, a time to exactly. to you know to be you know, serious. Say, I, I think it was little baby. He said he said I almost went. He said I almost uh, went broke paying other people attention or something like that. Yeah. It so crazy, um, trust said. me, peop most of the time people don't really care. They gonna be like, oh, it's cool that. The only way people care, like me, um, I'm from Africa, like they will, you wear the same shoes four or five times, people will be like, oh, that's cool, but America, they don't care. New shoes comes out every single day. 
they don't care about your shoes so do you you know this is my style of fashion this mm -hmm. is what i'm feeling um if you come here next month or month before that you're probably not going to see half the dishes i'm probably going to sell them and put another one in the shelf that's, that's what that's, I do. that's the game yeah you buy you buy sell, trade, trade, use, sell and, and trade repeat. yeah and you know, like, like the years is like i promise you come as they come here the next time you're not going to see these you go with something different some of the shoes that i don't want to sell but most of them you know they gotta go yeah. because i've been using and them any shoe so that has no sentimental value so I yeah for you to buy shoes and store them that you're not going to use it does not make sense it's a waste of money you know you have to you have to look into life and look at the things mm -hmm. you're feeling all right yeah with the outfit and everything you know you just have to and don't spend all your money on shoes yeah so and looking like looking like something else <laughs> right so I just want to say thank you all for tuning into this video. This is going to be a long video. I'm pretty sure the video right now is like 50 minutes to an hour. But if you like sneakers, you're going to watch the whole thing. Go ahead, press that like button. Go ahead and subscribe, share this video with your friend. And shout out my homie Barry for inviting me to his home. Yeah, thank you so much. Coming uh, out, Andrew. Yeah. And like, look. And we're out. Peace. All right, Ozzy. Take care. When it comes to my way, I can't tell you my secrets. Want to do it my way, then just study my language. I want for y'all to understand where I came from. Be and I've been watching everything I witnessed the seasons Respect my name, respect my face, what I attain I was born for this, but more than working, I don't play Respect the struggle and my pain, respect the